Good morning, it's 5.45. I left campground around 5.30. I've been driving 20 miles an hour, 25 max, just to keep it slow. It's still quite dark. I don't know if you can, it's probably really grainy right now, but it's very cloudy. Like the fog is just in the valley here. So it's hard to see. I think I finally got down to the Lamar Valley area. All I've seen so far are a few bison. There's another one on the street up ahead. But uh, next pull out, I'm just gonna look around. Okay, here's the bison, I gotta slow down. Always on the road. Is that guy good, okay. Oh yeah, there's another herd right in front. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go past them before I pull over and look around some more. Cause all these bison, oh, look at the bison eyes. I've never seen, well, I guess I have seen bison in the dark before. Um, back at Badlands National Park. Oh, those males. Well, that was pretty sweet. I pulled over and I started scanning and I saw a wolf just in the tree line right on the dirt edge of the river there and uh, I got my tripod out and I pulled the camera out and I jumped out and and the wolf just walked around just along the edge of the river um, along the dirt ridge and just kept walking for a while and at one point walked down and up and down and uh, at some point another car showed up and the family started looking and they were able to see it when it was close but then a bunch of other cars showed up and they were making more noise and then i saw the wolf was looking our way and then he started walking away from the river and uh he walked into the bushes and he was up and down but now he's he's behind something and we haven't been able to see him for a while i saw his head pop up for a second and went away so it was cool it was, it was a single lone black wolf um, just walking around and ah, I was pointing the camera the wrong way. He actually made a straight line straight towards a big male bison and uh, The bison actually charged them and he ran away and uh, he took off I missed that because I was busy watching it instead of looking at the camera. I was film filming just to the left of it, but That was pretty cool. You don't see that all the time, right? Um, yeah, I'll post the coordinates of where I was stopped where I saw it because I think around here is where other people have seen a, a single wolf as well. I heard, I heard about it two years ago and this year I heard someone say something about it as well. So might be a good spot to come check it out, I guess. It appears to be a black bear way out there. Get my tripod out. Oh, it's a wolf all right. It's coming this way. It's another black wolf. Yeah, side profile right there. Second wolf. Hope he comes this way more. So this is the second wolf, a separate wolf out here. It's a black wolf. I thought it was a bear. I was walking through some brush and has head down. And I followed him for a while, but he just laid down in the brush somewhere can't see him anymore guys limping it looks like his back right leg has a I don't know, it's swollen or something a joint I wonder if he's just really old it's that back right leg it's really swollen like arthritis or something 
Poor guy. I just got back in my car. There's still a bunch of people here. There are two wolves. One went way down, but the male was still going down, so everyone's watching them right now. It's still crazy here. <laughs> There's so many people. Look at all these spotting scopes. I have a spotting scope at home, but I didn't bring it because it was too big, really. And there was only one instance where I would use it, which was right here. So, kind of wish I had it now, though. Last year, I carried it for a little while, but it's just too big. And here's the view in front of my car. Craziness. But pretty good wolf show. Although I gotta say the first one I saw today was way closer, way closer. For me, I have to pee. Uh, I, I have to pee for quite a while. So I am off and I will talk to you later. I just pulled over by Lamar River Bridge to make myself a hot tea because I was shivering. It was so cold. And I look ahead and there is actually a bison walk down the road <laughs> right in front of me. Yeah, he was uh, right over there. So, like, you could do anything and bison just come to you. It's kind of weird how many times I just stop to do something and bison just show up. They just come. It's weird. It's crazy. By the way, Lamar River is right here. Look how muddy this river is. Whoa. Man, sorry, I feel sorry for anybody that has to filter that. That's... That's super murky. I mean, you can barely see the rocks at all, man. And of course, with the bison come bison traffic. But not much these guys can do. <laughs> the bison's walking. He's on the right lane. I mean, he's in the right lane. Um, yeah. I guess when you're a pedestrian though, you should be walking against traffic, but he's in the right lane. I was standing there for so long, I was shivering. It was harder 
getting harder and harder to see through the binoculars because my hands were shaking. There was a constant breeze going through. So I made myself some Tila tea. Um, it's a German tea actually. They make it in Emden, around Emden. It's very popular up there. But I like it. It's, uh, it's a black tea. Tiny little bag. It's got some caffeine in it. You put some sugar in it or kruncha, which is like blocks of sugar and uh, some cream. It's pretty good and it's good for like a midday slight caffeine kick. And uh, I think I'll be here a while because the traffic's building up and the bison is still on the right side of the road. Just walking right down the lane. Funny guys. I think I'm just going to sit here and drink for a while until this traffic loosens up because otherwise I'll just be in stop and go traffic anyway. So what's the point of that? I'll probably catch up to them within a few minutes after I leave anyway. <laughs> Bice. Those guys. Okay. Traffic's cleared up, so it's time to go. I'm charging up my GoPro now. Oh, looks like it's finished. It always drains a little bit when it's in storage because uh, I leave the Wi-Fi connection on. Um, so I'm going to top it off and I'm going to mount it on the roof of my car with the suction cup. And I'm going to go drive the upper terrace loop. I bet it's going to be crowded, but uh, I haven't done it yet and it looks beautiful. I really wanted to do it the last time I was here, but it was mid-November and uh, it was closed because of all the snow. So mm, couldn't do that. Just a one-way loop. I'm sure everyone's going to go super slow. I'm going to go really slowly as well and just try to video. And having a GoPro up top, um, I'm going to set down a wide angle and try to get a view of everything we see. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if the good stuff are on the left or the right. There's a guy on a bicyclist. Um, left or right, and I could tilt it whichever way is good, but I don't know which way. So I'm just going to have a dead center, and um, you get to see what you get to see. But uh, we're about 45 minutes from there, so let's let's head over. Well, I had a little side road for a petrified tree, a quarter mile. Over. But uh, it's actually right up here and it's not too bad. Beautiful fireweed everywhere growing. They haven't gotten all fluffy and gross yet. So. Look at all this elevation gain we're getting. It's so weird. Sometimes it'd be like 10 people here and all of a sudden I'm here by myself. Someone's finally coming, but it's huge waves. We weird. I was just driving down this road heading towards the Mammoth Terrace place and I saw Crunch and Tina walking so I pulled into the first stop and, and uh, they were low on water so I gave them a couple of Gatorades, some water so they're good to go and today I'm going to meet them actually in only maybe less than two hours so I'm going to drive the terrace thing and meet them at our rendezvous point. They're over there somewhere because that's where the trail was. They came onto the road just to shave off a little bit of time. Um, but the shoulder is really bad here, so they went back to the trail. The trail basically parallels the road for quite a while, for almost four miles. They're over there somewhere. I can't see them past this hill. It's like animal spotting with humans. I'll spot them though.
is so crazy, Mammoth Springs area. When I was here in November of two years ago, I I actually pulled in. Just there are no cars anywhere on both sides, so I actually just pulled in to see where I should go. But there were literally no cars anywhere, <laughs> and now it's full. It's crazy.